my YouTube channel. My name is Mpumila Dwaba and I've got the guy who changed my surname here. I need no introduction. Okay. <laughs> this is Brendan, guys. Um, so we are finally doing a Q&A. Sure, we received so many questions. It's been overwhelming, but thank you guys. Um, some personal, some we're not gonna, some we didn't answer. So I narrowed down and tried to get all the questions together. Um, we're gonna try to be as we're gonna be as honest as possible. Yeah, we're gonna try. We're yeah. gonna try to be as honest as possible. And okay, cool. That's and I think they're a bit serious, but yeah, I guess that's what you guys want to know. I thought they'd be funny questions, but most of them are. Pretty yeah, serious. yeah, it's actually pretty, pretty cool. Pretty deep. Very deep, uh, but yeah, with no further ado, roll the what's the, what's that uh, thing? B roll. No, <laughs> the roll camera. the intro. Late 2013? Uh, I think 2014. Beginning 2014. No, late 2013. Late 2013. Uh, late 2013, guys. And we were just talking over the phone. We hadn't met. We only met um, June, June, July. Yeah. Yeah, in July 2014. So how many years is that? It's about four. It's about four and a half. Yeah, about four and a half years. When did we realize, when did you realize you were in love? Mm, I think like a year into dating. What made you realize? So maybe 2015. What was happening? Uh, I always tell, tell you the story. Tell the story. <laughs> so there's a story, guys. So, yo, so there was this one time where my brother and I, we went out and we were like, I don't know if we were at a gay guard, but we were... Having, no, you were partying. We were having a good time. And and then we were driving back home in the, in the early mornings um, when the party was done, obviously. Yeah. And, and then something happened... I won't go into detail, but my car eventually got like messed up. Like I was in a like a mini accident type of thing, which I self inflicted on myself. Mm -hmm. And so, at the time, I had this this process of saving where I'd give like my money to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'd let her keep like most of my money, and then I'd just like get what I need. And then every time I need money, I'd just call and be like, "Mom, please money. please transfer this much money to my account." And so that's the system I was using. It was working very well for me. But at this particular point, I couldn't tell her that I crashed your car. That I crashed my car. So I needed like a quick fix. So I called up Mpumi, who I was dating at the time. Midnight? Uh, no, it was like one or two a.m. Yeah, yeah. But I was, was at work. Yeah, so she was still working in Investec and it was like, oh, she was, I guess, on the night shift. And I called her around like half past two towards three ish. <laughs> and I said, um, how are you doing? And whatever. And I was like, babe, I need I need like Have I, need, I told you not to go that night? I need a few thousand rands. And she had actually told me not to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I told her I need a few thousand rands and I thought she was gonna be like, Yeah, oh, what did you what happened? What were and she was just like, Okay, cool, um, let me see what I can do. And like literally ten minutes later that that <laughs> SMS from F and B came through and I was able to fix my car that morning and I remember like driving back home and thinking, Wow, you can't I've... put your hand in front of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember driving back home and thinking, wow, I've never been shown such kindness in my life. And it just showed me another level to who she was as a person. And and ever since that time, I really think I fell in love. Not because of, it wasn't really that she gave me, my, that, she, <laughs> that she blessed me. But I, actually, I paid her back the yeah, money. Yeah, did pay It back. should go down on record that I paid you her back. You did pay back. Did pay back. Back. But the fact that she didn't ask questions and she really just was there for me when I needed her is is what really caught my attention. So I think that's yeah. when I really started to to realize that I was in love with you and that I could love you like forever. Yeah, know? my story is a bit deep. I don't really want to talk about it yet. But I had been in a very messy situation, and that night it was also almost midnight. And mm -hmm. um, you called me and you said um, we had broken up though. And you called me and you said, can I come see you? And I said, no, um, why? And you just said, no, I really just would like to see you. You had come from Rema, 
there was a conference and you said you want to come see me and i had to clean up my messy situation and you came to see me and you just kind of wanted to talk and i told you all about what was happening at the time and in the same way i expected so much judgment and you didn't judge me at all and you just kind of embraced me and that was just like a an eye-opening moment for me yeah so yeah Ooh, first that how long? Already. So long! Yeah. Okay, how do you tell if a person is being genuine about their feelings or if they just want sex? I think this would be more to me. Um, it's very hard to tell if you just jump into sex and which is what the mistake most girls, most, us, most of us girls do. So, I can answer this way. Um, when, I, when Brendan and I started talking, before he was even like asking me out, when we were, I don't know, when was it? Yeah, I think while you were asking me out, I said to him, um, I'm waiting for marriage. Um, I obviously expressed that I'm not a virgin. Um, I've made my mistakes, but I'm waiting for marriage. We will not be having sex. And he said, okay. And I thought, okay, he's probably just saying, okay, um, we'll see what happens. And through and throughout the relationship, he didn't try. At some point, I actually got irritated that I'd like want to make out and kiss, and he just wouldn't. Like he would just like um, because I've got self discipline. <laughs> no, when it starts, like would be kissing, and then it can feel like it's getting intense. He just be like, oh, okay, cool, let's go. And I'm just like, no, don't do this. But it, it was your rule, so I was yeah. just like, girl, yeah. you can play that game. So I think um. And to set boundaries from the beginning and you as a girl have to stick to your boundaries i honestly believe if it wasn't for brendan's um discipline um we it could have gotten bad but he 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 really respected my decision and it made it easier for me so i think it just helps to kind of get somebody who would kind of believe in the same thing yeah. all right agreed cool um do you guys did you guys practice celibacy no, I feel like you answered yeah, that. Yeah, I just right? answered that. So, yeah. How to keep your relationship strong? What's our motto? I don't think we have a motto, but I do think we live by certain rules. Um, one of which is we try to do as much together as we can. Yeah. I think um, a lot of people have like... and it's, imp life. it's important, I guess, in a relationship to have your own identities, but it's also... Ha it's very it's even more important i think to have a joint identity yeah and and to work on that more than you work on yourself so yeah. i think we try to spend like whatever we can do together we do yeah so it's we spend most of our time together because we focus on um on, on building that on building that um that relationship of us being together and working um together so i think that's one of that could be our motto maybe yeah. i think here's another one that we used to always say is um before you do something like my aim is to make you happy yeah. and your aim is to make me happy and yeah. in that way everyone's needs are yeah, kind exactly. of made yeah. yeah cool how did i okay so how did i know you were the one and how did you know i was the one that was kind of answered yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, I think you answered that like with the first Yeah, question. but for me mostly it was, for me it kind of be like, oh, okay, this guy could be it. When I told him my past and I told him what I'm planning on doing and he didn't be like, oh, okay, so all of a sudden you want to be Mother Teresa with me. But he didn't judge me, um, but he understood and he really, really respected the, my journey and my path that was going on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, really good. And okay. If a guy asks you to wait for him, is he serious? So I think she means it in the context of if a guy asks you, it's okay, wait, I just need to finish varsity um, and then we'll start dating again. What do you I say about I that? think so. I think, you know what, I think it's, um, it's, a t it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, <laughs> it's two ways. Be honest, babe. I do. Have I, you I, ever I, told somebody to wait for you? I, I, I don't know. I don't, Be honest, No, babe. I haven't. Okay. But, but my thing is this, is that... I, I can understand that if someone is actually working on themselves and they're trying to um, like build uh, stability, even not just for themselves, but for you as well, if they do like envision a near future where they, they, they would be spending the rest of their life with uh, someone else, then it makes sense, you know? Sometimes, but why wouldn't because it's you... guys, look, it's not just, it's not just I'm going to pop the question. It's I have to pop the question and then I have to follow it up with a really nice ring and then I have to follow that up 
with that with Lobola, and then I have to follow that up. But okay, with let's not wedding. say in so marriage, kind of like, not necessarily marriage, but in a relationship. Like a guy says, okay, you know what? We'll start dating again after two years. Like I think. Okay, I've, but I've, I've, okay, I've never heard of that. I've uh, been. Me, prob- I've, I've had somebody come to me and say, no, I just want to figure myself out, and then we'll start dating so again. So what is doing while he was figuring? So it out. means he wants his space. In other words, I took it as. Clearly, he wants to still date around and stuff, oh. and then when he's ready to say yeah, there down. is that. But the way yeah. I understood the question was maybe some guys want you to wait for them to to be able to step up and be um, more of a husband type boyfriend or more of a serious relationship because it it is a lot of adjustment. Okay. And sometimes people are scared of labels, especially guys. I know labels are scary for guys. It's like I I don't want to. I don't want to say that I'm doing this and then fail at that. Okay. So I kind of, I would rather just have it like blur. Yeah. So that if I do, if I do but well. that's terrible. Ex- Nobody if wants If I do well, I exceed. I exceed your expectations. But, I, but you if know. If I do bad, you don't really have that much to, to But you know on. from me that I didn't take blur. It was either you're in or out. Uh, yeah. And, and I think that's how it should be in a perfect world. But we don't live in a perfect world. Okay. So it depends on the person. Yeah, sure. Cool. How do we manage to keep the spark alive since dating and manage to overcome things life throws at us? Hmm. Uh, does it also? I think it goes back to how we keep our relationship strong. I try to put his happiness first, although life does happen and you feel like, oh no, but he's not doing it for me, blah, blah, blah. But I try to get back to, to always be in a place where I make him happy. And I know that when I'm, do, when I'm focusing on making you happy, you automatically focus on making me happy and yeah. that keeps the spark alive. I yeah, I, But I think I'm the most spontaneous one in the relationship. I'm more the one who's likely to try I think you things. feel that way because I've been spontaneous ever since you've met me. So <laughs> my spontaneousness is normal to you. Okay, okay. But you weren't as spontaneous. Okay. And so now you're doing more, so you feel like you are more spontaneous. But I think... Part of uh, keeping the spark is kind of doing stuff like that. Kind of just stay dating. Like we always yeah. say, just stay dating. Because when yeah. you're dating someone, you, well, you're trying you to try. impress them. You're trying to impress them every chance you get. Yeah. And so even when you've been with someone for like a long period of time, always think, how can I do something more? Like, yeah. how can I do more to impress you? How can I blow you away? How can I be more romantic? And I think random dates, that, random Yeah, and I think in, in doing that, the spark just automatically stays alive yeah. because we are both feeding the spark cool um our marriage sounds glamorous do we disagree <laughs> when i laugh we disagree the... all the time well this is not glamorous at all like um and this we will never i will never ever put a video of us fighting mm. on instagram and i will never ever sub- subtweet my husband i will never ever put a post that degrades him or show what's happening in my household because i'm protecting my marriage yeah. and we're protecting our home because at the end of the day, we're going to fix things, but that's not how it's going to be in the public. So we do disagree a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, we're different human beings. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And we come from different backgrounds. So we do disagree, uh, but we know what's important. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's it's better to disagree, I think, in, in open uh, with each other. Yeah. Then, than to secretly disagree. Yeah, know? and then we all... The, it doesn't pretending. serve me anything if I pretend... To understand what she's doing or what she's going through i need to voice that out so yeah. i think it's 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 a good thing but it also can get a bit much yeah. <laughs> you guys are friends <laughs> we do but i think look the nature of friends or friendships when you get married they change yeah and my cousin actually explained this one time and he said um like life is like okay marriage for instance is like a twin plug right or a multi multi multiple plug thing. yeah and all your friends kind of plug into that socket yeah or to different sockets of that plug but essentially the marriage you and your wife are the plug yeah so before you get married uh before you get into marriage um your friends are that plug so that's you guys are the unit and everyone else is plugging in so if you're dating someone as a guy your girlfriend is kind of plugging into that yeah. socket because that's already established but once you get married you and your wife become that plug that socket so yeah. everything else needs to plug in yeah meaning we are the base so she yeah. comes first everything else plugs in so yeah. i need to make make time for friends i don't make time for her she has my time so i mean I, I make time to hang out with 
um, my other friends, yeah. but obviously the friendships won't be the diff- won't, won't be, be the, the same, same because yeah. um, we are. She's like now my best friend. I don't yeah. think you can marry someone who's not your best friend. Yeah. Personally, I don't think you can have a best friend and a wife at the same time. Like, yeah. what what do you What's... need a best friend for? What are you talking to, to that, that you can't tell. that you can't tell your wife? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just my thing. I still do have friends. I just, I just have a, I just have a best friend now, you <laughs> yeah, know, it's who a, I, I hang out with all the time. So yeah, yeah, I agree. It's it's the same thing. Like we've got friends, and um, but if I want to do something, he's my first option. I want to do everything with Javi. So that kind of decreases time spent with friends. Mm. Yeah, it it just kind of happens that way. Have our friendship circles changed? Do we associate with married friends? Uh. uh I don't know. Not really. Not really. I don't yeah. think we've been married long enough to kind of have established like married, friend. married friends. And, and also, so everyone cool. who's married is a bit older than us. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah just exactly. everyone's a bit older than us. Um, but it's something that I spoke to him about that I said I would actually kind of like to start having now um, married friends. And I think it's something we'd like it to happen organically. Yeah, so if there's any married couples, cool couples. No, and we'd like things. it to happen organically. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. No, I'm kidding. No, I sound like the evil. You are the evil. <laughs> um, how do I deal with annoying things I keep asking you to do, like clothes on the floor? My mother taught me this um, before I even got married. Pick your battles, girl. Some things are just not worth it. I'm not going to ask him to pick up his clothes on the floor every day. His clothes are going to be on the floor every day. And I'm not going to be put myself in that negative situation. So I'm just going to keep quiet, pick up the clothes, and carry on with my life. Mm. I get days where I'm just like, oh my gosh, just do it. And he'll no, do but, it. But, but you put clothes on the floor too. Babe, no, I don't. No. <laughs> but I pick you them up. You want us to go the room <laughs> right now. Wow. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I don't. You have your days. I have my days. Exactly. So. Yeah, but because I'm busy, not because I'm just lying on the floor, and chilling I'm just, on the bed. I'm just on holiday. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Um, how to deal with? Oh, okay. I already answered that. How do you deal with conflict differences when neither of you feel like you are wrong? Oh, this is a struggle. One of our struggles. Yeah, this is this is yeah this is this is quite a struggle. It's hard because, like she said, we have different backgrounds and different beliefs. And I'm very strong-willed. Yeah, and I'm is, and I'm not a pushover either. So yeah, it's um, two strong personalities. <laughs> that must yeah. And to be quite honest, he's more likely to solve things. Um, we working on it. It's it really is a struggle, so we can't really yeah, give I'm a, advice. I'm a peace, I'm a peace yeah, he's more the peacemaker. I'm just the, the UN is looking for an thing. ambassador. I'm, I'm more. I'm, I'm more though. Guy. I'm like I'm. I'm very stubborn. I just like I think my ways are right, and it's terrible. But it's because mostly your ways are right. What? What? <laughs> say Most... it. Look at the camera and say it. Say it. It can It doesn't. Say it. It's not coming out. Say it. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck here. Say it. Most of my ways are right, so Most it's of hard. The time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd like to give examples for this. Okay. Hey, okay. How did your parents take it when we told them we're getting married at a young age? They were happy. They were happy, but I do think there was a bit of like. From your end, though. Yeah. Because you're a guy. Yeah, yeah, there was a bit of like, do you know what this means? Do you, or you know, do you know what you're getting into type of thing? Yeah. But for the most part, I think they were, they happy. were happy. And I think once we did get married, I think they were even like more happy. And, yeah. And once, actually, once they met us and saw us together, I think it made sense to them. But yeah. obviously, my, the first conversation, I'm like, dad, um, <laughs> I'm thinking of, you know, and I'm like, I think I was like 22 at the time. I was 22 at the time. And, Shucks. Yes. Whoa, man. <laughs> Moon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it was um, a lot. but I should say um we had moved out of home. Both of us were not living yeah. at home. So my parents were comfortable. Okay, my mom got married at twenty one, but they were comfortable because I was out of home. I got home out of at eighteen and Brendan was at out of home. So they knew that I'm not gonna go sleep at I'm not gonna live with his parents or mm backroom vibes like he had his There's nothing wrong with parents of backroom vibes it was just not the option it, it's not us. yeah it's not a, it's not ideal 
that I well for me personally if your parents are rich and they have a big house that's no got a, that's I, got a west wing and an east wing no honey you're not, can, take, you can, you're not you taking you're not taking me out of my parents house to put me in your parents I'm house. not putting you in the, my parents house I'm putting, putting you in, in my west in the west in wing the, yeah in the west wing okay but it's, it, it, it depends on how you feel about it I've never wanted to live with and I was already independent like from 18 I've been living on my own so I'm not yes. trying to leave, live with my parents yes or girl anyone's parents again I've got my independence okay uh we did this how do i deal with insecurity so somebody said how do i deal with insecurities because my husband is handsome in him um mm. okay so i have i didn't take that responsibility upon myself i made it brendan's responsibilities that if girls are gonna be in his dm which, which they, they are, are were not. were they mm. were let's be honest when we were dating they mm. were dms and all of that stuff um we may i did i said to him you know what it's up it's it's your responsibility to secure to make me feel okay i need to find a better way of phrasing it to not make me feel like i should be threatened does that make sense mm -hmm. it's your responsibility to protect our relationship and to protect um to protect me so I'm not gonna feel insecure because I should be able to trust that even if Kim Kardashian can come twerk in front of you, you'll be able to be like. I don't think no. she can twerk though. Okay, but you'll just be like, no, I've got a wife. So I, 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 I don't. Did I have insecurities? Bad insecurities. Uh no, I don't think you were like bad. But I had. You were like normal. Yeah. You're okay. Normal. But how did I deal? I'm not sure. Uh, you'd go through my phone. <laughs> You'd be like, what's this? <laughs> I'd be like, it's a deal. <laughs> you were pretty chilled. I think with you, if it made sense, it was like, oh, okay, cool. But if the story doesn't add up, then it's like, oh. Bye. We done. Yeah, you can't be following this person. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah. So he did. <laughs> Never mind. What? No, I just said to tell the story how you unfollowed all all unnecessary people that aren't your friends that we don't know uh we've no, got each other's instagrams on our phones uh, uh, but it's not because we're crazy or anything it's transparency transparent that's the word yeah actually. it's not really that like we like saying okay yeah i need to have her instagram so that i no. can police what she's doing it's more a transparency it's more, thing i have access to her instagram and stuff so My phone i know completely. i know all her passwords i know if I need to do something in her FNB app, banking app, I go in, I know the passwords. You go it's into like, my WhatsApp. I go into her WhatsApp, whatever, me. everything, whatever she has, you is, have access to I have it. access to because. And that avoids uh, insecurities and all of that stuff. I think I it think does, yeah. It's it different for does. every couple, but we've just decided to keep it that way. Yeah. Um, because of the because of our lifestyle and the career my husband is in it's just it's 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 what works for us yeah. cool